take over challengers. Congratulations, you're almost at the finish line. To help you with that final stretch, I've asked last year's winners to offer their tips. Watch what our fun-loving and bubbly Maria has to say. Hi, I'm Maria, and I'm the second place winner of the third annual Eat Clean Diet Makeover Challenge. I am so excited and so honored to have this opportunity to give you that little bit of extra motivation so you can reach your goals in time for this year's annual Makeover Challenge. At two months out, I can say that I already felt like I had reached my number one goal. I was accomplishing things like hiking, running, and push-ups, which just made me feel so powerful and strong. So my diet and nutrition in the last two months started to really tighten things up. I would plan my meals in advance, I would prepare my meals in advance, and I would pretty much practice the same meals every week. I call it my three P's, plan, prepare, and practice. I had a few staple items in my diet, and they still remain staple items in my, in my diet today. The obvious chicken, sweet potatoes, brown rice, oatmeal, um, flaxseed, uh, nut butters, especially cashew butter and peanut butter, I love those too. For me, knowing it was so close to the end of the makeover challenge, this was actually more of a reason for me to keep going. I was more encouraged, more determined, and I had more strength than ever to, to reach the finish line. The proudest moment of my transformation definitely has to be the very last day of the challenge. I was being my usual goofy self, but this time I was not being goofy to mask an insecure and unhappy person. I was actually being goofy because I was just so happy and so confident I can look back on my journey with absolutely no regret whatsoever because I gave it my 110% and I could finally say I did it. I, I did it. I did it. So if I was to give you a piece of advice to take away today, it would be to take pride in even the smallest of accomplishments. For me, it was being able to hike without getting breathless, or it was being able to wear a dress without my thighs rubbing together. Those small accomplishments are just as big as the final one. Revel in them, because for me, it made me feel like that I was that little bit closer my final goal. Don't you just love her? Those are some powerful words of advice. I know you can keep this up and win this thing and I can't wait because I'm going to dance to your happy dance.